Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here, and we are back in another LEGO video. So the last handful of episodes have really been focused on getting the city uh, layout set up and basically building big buildings, um, which is something you need. You need businesses, you need places, you need something to fill up the city. But I thought today we would kind of uh, make some vehicles, but still kind of stay in the business theme. So what we're doing today is we are making not one, not two, not three, it's a weird way to do it, but four different food trucks. That's all gonna be in this video. It is gonna be a little bit shorter video than the last one, but the last one was really long, so. So let me show you what we're gonna be making today. Number one, we are gonna be making ourselves an ice cream truck. For anybody who doesn't know, I actually spent many years, I before I did YouTube and streaming and all that stuff, I actually uh, owned my own ice cream truck for many years and that was my job and it was delicious but whatever anyways the next one we're going to make is the city pizza uh van the pizza van is what this one is called so this is going to be another one um and then something to wash it down we're going to go ahead and make the penguin squishy van so this is for smoothies and whatnot and then lastly Kind of a food truck, not a food truck. This is for all you health nuts out there because all that stuff, you know, is not good for you. But we are going to be making the farmer's market van. So let's get all four of these vans built and then we will take a look at them. All right, well, there we go. They're all built. That was a, a much quicker uh, build video than the last one, I'll tell you that. So here we have our uh, our fresh market van, our slushy van, our pizza van, and our ice cream van. So let's kind of take a look at what comes with them. So this one's pretty cool. This actually comes with a little farm area. It comes with three minifigures. So you basically got the farmer, you've got the the person working the uh, the van, and then you've got a customer and some other items here. And then you have this little farm area. Now, this isn't going to go where the van's going to go. I get plans for this a little later. But as you can see, we got our, we got our first little bunny. That's exciting. Um, but yeah, you've got uh, grapes, we've got corn. I'm thinking those are chili peppers. And then, of course, you've got some carrots growing here. Boom, they grow really fast. Look at that. Look how quick that grows. Little uh, water uh, hydrant there to get water. We got ourselves a little watering can. And then over on the side here, we have some stuff set up for a farmer's market. We got some apples that are upside down. Don't worry about it. A pumpkin and a banana. So it comes with all that. But let's take a look at the truck itself. So as you can see, it's got a big carrot here on the top just to show you it's you know healthy and not as delicious. You've got Fresh, which is actually the grocery store 
um, the Lego City grocery store is also called that as well. So they're kind of tied in together. And that also has a big carrot on it. So as you can see here, we've got different vegetables here on the menu. We've got a nice little sliding door here to where they can get in. And then on this side, if I do this right, this opens up. And you can kind of see we've got kind of a back door area. This is the first of these uh, these doors I've had where it's one frame with two doors and they're slightly smaller. They're only three studs wide. So that's a place to load vegetables up. Little register in here and basically a person to sit and you can see that this window just slides closed when they're not doing business and they're driving down the road. So there is the uh, veggie truck. So check that out. All right, so the next one is we've got the Penguin Slushy Van. And we've got a little girl customer here who just got, I'm guessing, a cherry slushy. And she seems very excited about that. And then we have uh, the poor guy that has to sit in, you know, it's, it's always, you know, late spring, early summer in our town. So you know he is just, he is just sweating in there, just sweating. Just his boots are nothing but sweat down here. So he's actually made himself a blueberry one as well to uh, cool himself off. All right, so let's take a look at the van. Uh, really awesome brick built slushy there. We can't not know what this is. You can see they got a menu there with all of the different flavors, blueberry, strawberry, cherry, and I'm guessing green apple. On this side, once again, we also have the menu, and this slides open, just like the other one. You can kind of see a theme here. This one doesn't have access on the back, but it's got this really cool uh, stickered piece here with their mascot and their logo and whatnot. And then just like the other one, this one can actually open up from the side. So you've got a place to be able to put the, uh, the employee in. And it's got a really cool, I don't know how well you can see that back there, a really cool slushy machine with all four of the different flavors represented by these uh these transparent bricks so that one is actually really really cool i like that i like the sticker pieces i think that looks really really awesome all right so now we move on to the next one and if anybody who knows me i'm not a big pizza fan but i am a fan of this build so first off we get ourselves a sweet scooter with the city pizza boxes on the back i don't know how they stay on there maybe they don't turn i don't know what the deal is um, we do have a delivery girl here. She does come with a helmet, so you can uh, take her hair off and, you know, safety first, third. Uh, it's up there. It's up there. And, uh, you know, she can get on the little scooter and bring those pizzas to you. In my city, it's 29 minutes or less. I like to go uh, one minute less. It does come with a cool little table to stick outside. It's already got a slice of pizza at it. And then, of course... We've got the man himself, the chef who's making the pizza in the truck with a jaunty little mustache. Look at that. Look how jaunty that is. That's jaunty. Anyways, so on this one, both sides open up. Now, I do have to admit something. I put these stickers on upside down. So I had to kind of rearrange. I don't know if you noticed it in the video, but I kind of had to rebuild these back upside down to make them work so technically you know this piece down here should be up here and whatnot but i fixed it and that's what's important so we got ourselves both sides open up on this one like that you can see we got pizza and salad because you know when you think you know food truck you think you know lettuce of course leave that to the veggie truck over there so you can see we've got a pizza right here ready to go maybe you can see maybe you can i don't know it's not that great uh, we've got some condiments here. Let's turn on, let's turn a light on. There we go. Now you can see the pizza. I don't know if this is supposed to be fries. Oh, breadsticks. Very smart. Of. I thought it was exploding cheese. The breadsticks <laughs> makes way more sense. Um, we got a little fridge here and we've got, this is either a, uh, you know, a, a way to pay or maybe to get into the secret safe where the, the exploding cheese is kept. I'm not sure. Uh, this one does not have an opening side like the other one does, uh, but you could pull the roof off to get the guy in here. And there's even a drink here with a little little soda top, which I always think is such a cool printed piece there. So that is the uh, City Pizza Truck. I like how that closes down. Doesn't quite close all the way, which is kind of pretty realistic. I like that. So Now, all three of these were actually brand new to me today. I opened up the boxes and, and opened them out of the plastic and whatnot. 
Um, they were bought by my daughter for Christmas, one of my sons for Christmas, and then this one was actually uh, bought by one of the fans of the channel. So, now this last one is an ice cream truck. And I mentioned earlier, I actually drove an ice cream truck for many, many years. So this is actually one I've had for a while. Now you may uh, notice that I wasn't as meticulous with the stickers on some of uh, back then because I didn't think the internet was going to see this. But here we are. So once again, this one, like the other two, the first two has a sliding uh, uh, door to be able to help people. You can see it's got all the menu items here and it's, you know, stay cool. They got their little mascot and their logo. That is Mr. Chill right there. As you can see by the sunglasses, you can't chill with the sun in your eyes. <clears throat> this side kind of the same, but this side, like the other ones, everything opens up and we've got some rogue uh, ice cream bars here that are just sat in here loose. We do have a register. Once again, $100. Everybody is super rich in, in Brickington Cove, and I'm okay with that. Um, we got ourselves uh, some chocolate, some strawberry, uh, dog barking, vanilla, and then yellow. And then you can see they got a couple of cones here on standby. And then you have the employee, this uh, girl in a, a very, very nice tie. It's no jaunty mustache, but you do what you can. And uh, this set actually came with a little kid with a skateboard, but because this is something I owned, he's actually in with my skate park stuff, which we'll get to down the road. So um, so her and a kid with a skateboard is what this comes with. And then, of course, you have the logo up here. And, and you know, you know you're, you're staying chill when you're sweating chocolate. That's me right there. So anyways, so there is our four food trucks. We're going to get them kind of moved into the city. Um, I have an idea for a spot that's going to be in a much later video. But we'll at least get them uh, set up and uh, just add a little bit to the to the city. Get some cars on those roads, right? All right, so we got them placed in. Let's take a look at them. So for right now, they're all just parked here. You can kind of see we've got the uh, people working them out there because there's not a whole lot of people to buy stuff. So, you know, they're out here. But these two plates right here are actually going to be kind of a farmer's market. So I really wanted to have these kind of part near there. We'll get a lot more customers and a lot more stuff. That's what I was talking about that we're going to work on in a later video. So I kind of just have the minifigures out there showing up. Now, some of the farm stuff I'm actually going to put somewhere else. I might actually put uh, the whole farm thing near uh, Cupcake Corner over there. By, by She's so mad that I keep talking about it. So. Hey, you just said you didn't want to be in a video. Didn't say I couldn't show off your Legos. I win. Anyway, so yeah, um, so basically we're a big metropolis, so we just import all of our food from the small little town down the street, and, and, and we didn't give them a good deal. Anyways, uh, she's so, <laughs> close your mouth up. Anyways, um, but yeah, so that really, as you can see, we're starting to get some real pops of color into the town. Uh, with uh, Assembly Square and all of the other modulars back there, and now with our food trucks out there. I really just kind of want to take a break from building buildings, um, so that's why I wanted to kind of get these. So, Also, I wanted to ask you guys to, to let me know. So we did four builds in this video, and they were all smaller builds. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, because I have a lot of cars. I, I More because they're cheap, so I bought more cars back in the day than anything else. So that way I'm not doing an entire video on one little car this big. So if you like this, let me let me know. Um, and also, well, I'll do that at the end. Um, but yeah, so I think it's really starting to come along. I am very excited. You gotta keep in mind, I build this stuff, but I don't put it in the city until we shoot the video. So I'm seeing this stuff for the first time as well. I literally built those four food trucks this morning. So, open three brand new sets, and uh, I don't know about you, but it is something about opening brand new Lego sets. It's so magical. Anyways, because the last time those pieces were out in the world, they were at the Lego factory, and that's a magical place where a guy in a purple top hat invites children in to have free candy. Anyways, it is in my mind. Don't take this from me. Anyway, so there we go. Once again, I want to give a big shout out to all of our founders. Um, and for all of their support and to everybody who's gotten stuff and <clears throat> because we are going to be doing this center area as kind of a farmer's market kind of just uh, 
you know, place to come buy food and fresh vegetables and whatnot. We actually did get a new set, and I want to give a big shout out to Edward. Thank you so much. We actually got us Bean There Donut That. So it is an outdoor little kind of a coffee bar donut shop, and that's going to go perfectly right inside of here. So that, like I said, is going to be in a future build. But I want to give a big thank you to Edward. Thank you so much. I honestly, I, we got a Dalmatian. We got a business lady. That's no, a doctor. We got a doctor lady. We got a businessman. Everybody's here. We got all kinds of stuff and just deliciousness and a bike. So you can't beat that. So we are going to be building that area in the not too distant future. But for now, I'm very happy with this. Next episode, we actually are going to be getting to a building, and I only wanted to tell you this because it's not made by Lego, and I felt I should give you a week to emotionally prepare for that. So make sure you guys come back. But once again, thank you to the founders. If you want to add to the city, like Edward did here, you can go check out my Amazon wish list down below. Become a founder to help support the city. And if you've got a box of Legos sitting around and you're not using them, my P.O. box is down below. Ship them off, give you a shout out, and then I will be so excited. So once again, I want to thank all of you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are still enjoying these. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye.